Hi everyone, my name is JJ. I'm a middle school boys leader and uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. It's really good to see you all. Um, today I'm going to be speaking from a passage in 1 Peter verses, uh, chapter 4 verses 7 through 11 and it's all about living for God. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, verse 7. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be clear-minded and self-controlled so that you can pray. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one of you, or each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully, administering God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speak, he should do it with the strength God provides so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Uh, so Peter in this passage has three main things that he's trying to emphasize or he's calling us to do. The first one is to pray. The second one is to love. And the third is to serve. Um, obviously easier said than done. So I'm going to go into each point a little more and kind of walk through it all. Um, so the passage starts off by saying the end of all things is near. And so this could be a scary verse for some people. Um, but Peter's intention is to give us a sense of urgency to say that like, hey, if the if the end is coming or if Jesus is coming soon, we should treat every day like that and not just push things off. Um, I can find myself um, thinking or saying to myself like, oh, I want to pray for this person. Instead of doing it right then and there, I'll be like, oh, I can do it later. I can do it tomorrow um, and push things off. And um, yeah, obviously that's not how we're called to live. That's P what Peter's trying to get at is, hey, we should live with urgency. We should pray right away. Um, and it, it it goes on to say that therefore be clear minded and self controlled so that you can pray. Um, Peter's emphasizing prayer because it's one of the ways that we're able to uh, communicate with God. It's essentially prayer is essentially a conversation with with God, the Creator of the universe, which is really crazy. Um, and like any healthy conversation, there's two parts. There's the talking part where we're able to talk to God and tell Him uh, everything and anything. Um, and there's also a listening part that uh, can be really hard sometimes where yeah, we should be able to hear and listen to what God has to say and not just talk the whole time when we're praying. Um, if I had a friend and all I did was talk 100% of the time and they didn't talk at all, um, it probably wouldn't be the healthiest conversation. And so that's the same with prayer. We should be able to talk to him as well as listen. Um, there's a balance and we need to be able to do um, both. And so, um, and when we do pray and we hear, we want to make sure that it is aligned and rooted with scripture because that the Bible is our way of um seeing God's heart and making sure everything aligns with, oh uh, yeah, with what God uh, wants and has for us. And so, yeah, my question is just, are we praying with urgency? Are we putting off prayer or are we doing it right away? And it, uh, this is something that, yeah, it can be, can be hard, but I think it's really good to get in the habit of praying um, every day for people and for yourself. Um, the second thing that Peter calls us to do is to love. Um, it goes on to say, above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Um, love is the, what allowed us to be saved. It's what Jesus did um, on the cross. His self-sacrificial love is the reason why we're able to have a relationship with God. Um, and it's because of that love he died on the cross for us. And so love is obviously a huge part of Christianity. It's something we're called to do. Um, and Jesus role modeled that on the cross for us. And so that kind of love is how we're supposed to, we're supposed to show that towards other people. Um, and it goes on to say that that love, um, it covers our mistakes. It covers our inadequacies. When we mess up and make mistakes, um, God's response isn't condemnation or to like shame or anything. It's uh, rooted in forgiveness, which um, stems from love, which can co which comes from love, and so um, yeah, everything we do should be rooted in love. That's what Peter's calling us to do, and it it touches on and goes a little further to say that we should do this without grumbling, um, and we should do this with joy. And I think that's a really important aspect of um, when we love one another. Um, if my mom asked me to do the dishes and I say okay, fine, like. This is something I, I guess I'll do. And like, you can see that my attitude's not in the right place, but we want to be able to do things in love and with joy without grumbling. And so instead, my response can be like, oh, I would love to. Of course, I'll do this for you. Um, and yeah, joyfully doing things, even if they don't seem fun or like 
they may cost like something for you, like your time or whatever it is. Um, having that attitude that um, of joy and in love um, is really important. And so, yeah, I would just say um, and ask a question for you guys, like, are you guys loving um, those around you well, your family, your friends, even strangers, like, um, are we, are we doing what Jesus did? Are we sharing that kind of love? Uh, point number three that Peter makes is, uh, calling us to serve. Um, and serving looks different for everyone. It goes on to say, um, each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully, administering God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speak, he should do it with strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. So, um, even though it may look different, things that should all look the same is that we should be serving. It says that we should use our gifts, which implies that we have them and that we should be using them. That um, these gifts should be used with grace. Um, and they're also meant to, the whole point of all these gifts that we have is to glorify God. Um, so yeah, whatever we're doing, whatever service that we're doing, it's really important to make sure that, um, it is bringing God glory, that it's uplifting, um, yeah, the church in whatever way that looks like. And so, uh, one example of this is like, my mom is a great chef or cook and she can cook for 50, 60 plus people. And she's able to make meals for many families. Um, and that's her way that she's able to love and serve other people, uh, but she's really not great with kids. Like if you put a baby in her hands, it'll instantly start crying. She doesn't really know what to do. Um, so like children's ministry is not really her uh, thing, but cooking and serving is. And so or serving through cooking is. Um, and for me, uh, I'm not a great cook. That's not something I'm not really, I'm not able to make food for 50 plus people. That's not something I'm able to do. But I uh, love working with kids and um, I work at a daycare. I help with the youth group like any every all ages of kids I like to work with and help out with and so that's something where that's where I spend time and I use my giftings and so yeah I just want to challenge you guys what gifts um has God given you to serve others with and what would that look like or what does that look like for you so yeah that's what I got out of this passage I think that um Peter's really emphasizing yeah again prayer we're called to pray um constantly and in prayer, we're supposed to do the balance of both talking and listening or hearing, right? And whatever we are hearing, it should be rooted in scripture, obviously. Um, we are also called to love, right? We want to be able to love um, the same way Jesus did, that sacrificial love. Um, and that, that, that love covers uh, all our sins because we're able to forgive and show grace towards others because that's all rooted in love. And uh, lastly, we're called to serve right? We, it says that we all have gifts and um, we're all supposed to use those gifts to serve one another and glorif ultimately glorify God. Um, and in both love, loving and serving, I uh, just want to emphasize that, yeah, we should be doing that in joy, that um, we should have a smile on our face when we're doing this because what, we, what, what we're doing is um, aligning with God's heart and it's building others up and it's building um, our faith up as well when we do those things. So I think joy is also a really important component um, to have when we're doing these things. So um, yeah, just hope this encouraged you guys. Thanks for listening. And I hope you guys have a, a great day. All right. Bye.